they said enough of this. <laughs> and there's what Bayou wants right in. Oh, made it look that's easy. exactly what he wanted. He said, finally, when he gets frustrated and starts sitting down to hit me, that's where the takedowns will come. And I mean, the top pressure of Kiesa is something else, man. He's so long that when he gets on top of these guys, look at him shove that knee through. And you give your back to Michael Kiesa. This dude can submit you a rear naked choke. And this is an old school wrestling ride he's got. It's like a figure four ride, and he's just putting pressure on the hips so the man can't belly out. Oh, oh that's in there. That is tight. He's got a nasty crank right there. Oh, but he's losing the leg. So yep. strong. Kiesa. He's losing the leg. Vicente Luque has never been finished in the UFC. Kiesa getting awfully close. He's a little high. Oh, he's he's taking armbar. He's yeah, he's taking armbar. He's going to have to switch. He lost it. Wow. Great defense from Luque there. Oh, oh Luque's he's got, got it. That's tight. That is tight. Under two minutes to go. Oh, Luque, Luque That's it. That's a guard. That's it. Tight. That is a tight guard. Yep. That's all the way in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. He's got to feed Kiesa's hips, though. No, that is tight. That's right on. Now he's starting to feed him. That's it. He's out. What's that? Luque. Do it for the top. And he said, I've got some tricks up my sleeve too. Well, Heatherly's body language would tell you he doesn't feel like he's in too much trouble here. And Heatherly's got to have very flexible shoulders here. This is deep. Maybe thought about tapping for a second, open that palm. I have a good look at his face here, cage side, and you can see his eyes squinting hard. He is in pain. And, and Ben's pushed down. Ben Saunders back in the UFC with conviction. A first round finish. Great position here for Cerrone with a minute left. Cerrone putting patience and experience to work. Perry trying not to give up his neck. He's got to get his arm free. Cowboy's got it trapped right now. That's a terrible spot. He pops out. He's got to watch his arm in there as well. Knee and Cowboy in the butt here. Wow, and Cerrone now trying to lock up the arm and go for the submission victory. Perry trying to fight out of it. That's 15 seconds, he taps. Oh. Donald Cowboy Cerrone wow. by submission. The all-time leader in wins. The all-time leader in finishes. You're looking at him. I said you're not safe here. You stay in Cerrone's guard. He's going to throw up an arm bar or a triangle. Even if you pick him up, he had already had it latched on. Perry did everything he could to try to fight out. And where's the tap? Did he verbally tap? It's hard to tell. He didn't argue with anything. So there was, oh, he taps right there. Taps right there on the far side. Let's take one more look at it from a different angle. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear right on the butt. Yeah. Tapped right on Cowboy. Oh! That's a front kick. Oh, and a head and kick. Head kick. Berkman trying to duck under, and he caught it. His left eye was already swelling a little from the first round. Oh! Nice takedown by Hazel. He rolls into an arm 20 seconds remains in the round. Can Very nice! Oh, man! Tap, tap. it's all over! Wow! And it's all over! Exactly as you talked about. Wow! Hazel, patient. He submits Josh Berkman. That was outstanding. And just as Joe said, Hazlitt, it seemed, was being patient. He was going to take some punishment. And if he could get into a position to submit, he would seize the opportunity. And he did. Spectacular armbar finish for Dustin Hazlitt. And he rebounds from the disappointment of the loss to Josh Koscheck in what he calls now his home in Ohio, the Kentucky native. Absolutely spectacular tonight. If St. Pierre is able to keep Matt Hughes from taking him down, he's going to say something about this fight. There it is. Matt Hughes 101. Matt's eye looks to be bloodied up just a little bit. The right eye. Oh, Spinning back kick into the midsection hurt. of Matt Hughes. Cuts come up everywhere. Nice stiff jab. Good straight punches by St. Pierre. Pierre. Great defense so far. Hips back, but then again, Matt Hughes doing what Matt Hughes does. Well, we saw that straight there, punch. Glance off of Matt Hughes' chin. And Matt trying to finish this round one with a flurry and scores some points. Matt Hughes with a submission, oh. and it's all over! It's nice. all over! Matt Hughes with a submission victory! Bang, armbar, over! Matt Hughes is once again the welterweight champion! Damaging with punches and great technique. He throws a bunch of punches. St. Pierre goes for a Kimura. 
The counter to that is a step over the head and go for a straight arm bar by switching over. That was a real combination, great jujitsu uh, flow. Here's another look from the other side. Again, punching. You can see St. Pierre locked up the Kimura, but he let Matt Hughes pass his legs. Matt Hughes stepped over the head and hit an arm bar. That is perfect answer for jujitsu for jujitsu. This is our main event here at UFC 79. Again, another take takes down. him down. Hughes is really tough to choke out, we know that. Knees inside, another wow. takedown by Dominant St. Pierre. Takedown. Right into side control. Matt Hughes is really getting overwhelmed in this fight. George just stepped over for a triangle. 20 seconds. He's got a Kimura on one side and a possible triangle on the other. Trying to submit Hughes. Not quite yet. And it's all over. Side, trying to create some space. Trying to get uh oh. Trying to get Militant. Oh, he's trouble. got the head. Looking he's got the head tight. Looking, he looking to got it tight. Looking oh, to lock it. Oh, 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 it's over. Carlos Newton has choked out Pat Militant. And we have a new world welterweight champion. He just got the head. He caught the chin. He never let Militant turn the chin he in. He got the head and would not let go. Wow. Just that fast. And that is what this Look world of mixed martial arts has become. A chess game where one move can finish it so quickly. Hanging uh, on for dear life. And it shows that even when you can't seem to find a way, there's enough different ways that you can keep choosing and eventually find an option that works. You got to give the advantage here to BJ, though. This is BJ's world. Oh, BJ's BJ. got his back. Let's now, see this what is he where can BJ gets guys in weird style. He's incredibly flexible. Matt's trying to get some sort of a footlock on him. BJ's not doing any damage here, but he. Oh! oh I said that. He lands a big right hand. This is worst case scenario for Matt Hughes. BJ on top of him, punching him from his back. BJ has got incredible back control. BJ oh, he's looking the for the choke. He's got the choke. He's down. It's right. over. It's over. Oh, it's over. Also should consider, and that is the wrestling of Nate Diaz, which is very underrated. His submission game is very, very highly respected. Nate Diaz oh, making up some ground here in the second round. A big Dr. difference that here is the ball. Oh, he tagged got him with the good one there. He tagged him. He heard him. He caught him again with the right hook. Trig 
Let's go! Yeah. 